bullying is the use of force, uh, intimidation, any form of coercion, um, basically to abuse someone or intimidate somebody. Well, bullying is when someone is either picking on someone else or um, teasing someone. There, there's many different types of bullying. Um, there's cyberbullying, there's physical bullying, physical altercations, you know, fighting, stuff like that. Assault is the use of force, um, intentional use of force, and it, uh, it, it can be direct or indirect on somebody. And um, yes, it is an offense. An assault is where uh, somebody has a physical altercation with somebody, they push them, they punch them, they kick them, and it is against the law to uh, assault someone else. Criminal harassment, um, to, make, to break it down simply, would be, um, as you said, uh, slang terms. People call it stalking. It's uh, following, um, watching someone's home, constantly contacting someone, and uh, this is a criminal offense as well. Criminal harassment is where someone would be stalking somebody, following them around repeatedly, uh, texting them. Um, or sending them messages, letters, stuff like that, and it's got to be a continuous um, harassment essentially just over and over and over again. Use of words um, or actions, you threaten somebody to um, cause harm or uh, make that person believe that uh, you, you could cause harm to that person. Uh, a threat is uh, when you say something to someone that um, intimidates them oh or um, they feel, they take seriously, they feel like you can harm them, um, saying stuff like, I'm going to stab you, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to punch you, uh, I'm going to kill you, is, is an uttering threat and that's against the law. Gossip and rumors are essentially um, Talking about a person, maybe talk, uh, with other people, um, discussing a person's personal information, or making up facts that are untrue about a person and spreading those throughout the community, throughout a school, or whatnot. Gossip is uh, when you, when people talk about other people um, behind their backs, as well as rumors. Those are essentially the same thing. Uh, rumors and gossip is where people talk behind other people's backs, spread lies about people, or even, you know, spread things that are true but may, may be a secret. I would say it's a lot of word of mouth, um, you know, friends talking to other friends about what they heard um, someone else say. That would be how gossip and, and rumors are spread, and also through text messages and stuff like Facebook and Twitter. Well, um, when I went to school, a lot of times, um, for the most part, it was just by word of mouth. People, you know, gossiping, um, just by talking to other people. Nowadays, things have changed and technology's changed, so a lot of that, um, it, it happens through cyberbullying. Um, texting, Facebook, Twitter, all of those that I've listed earlier. Gossip or rumors can be really um, hurtful to people, um, whether or not the rumors are true or, or false, they can still hurt a person emotionally and mentally. Tremendously. Um, sometimes people may think that it's, it's harmless, something that they're, they're spreading about another person, they might think it's funny. What they don't realize is that the impact, although they may believe it could be small, or whether they don't care if it hurts the other person, um, it can be huge. It can be, it can go as far as affecting the person's health, and as much as people committing suicide because of gossip and rumors that have been spread, essentially spreading rumors, it is bullying, and it is many of the other criminal offenses that we've already discussed. Anybody. Anybody can be targeted.
uh, anyone can be a target of violence, um, or anyone can be a target of any type of bullying or, or harassment or something like that. Anyone can become a target. Well, there are actually a lot of resources um, as a police officer. Of course, we're always available um, for any assistance that anybody needs. If they just need to talk, if they need to find a resource to help, or if they need us to, to intervene and help them. Uh, in a school setting, of course, you always have the option of um, discussing it with a, one of your teachers that you trust. You have your principal, guidance counselors. Um, anybody in the community who you know is a trustful um, resource. There's um, counseling services out in your community, a uh, long list of uh, community resources, but uh, not only that, there are, um, and I will say anonymous um, type resources that you can contact, for example, like the Kids Help Phone and uh, different places like this, um, a ton of online resources that you can access. And not to forget, um, I also want to mention that it's important that kids remember that uh, in most circumstances, that they can talk to their parents as well, and that's important to remember. Um, just becoming aware of what you say around uh, around people to friends, stuff like that. Um, just being more cognizant of how we act and what we say to people and how we make other people feel.